Hey there, what's up ACG fam? Chunk checking in. It's been a while. Uh, I apologize for not getting back to you via comments uh, on my last vlog. Uh, I got a lot of catching up to do. So I've kind of just had a rough P3 per se. I haven't really been engaged and I feel bad because I, I know a lot of people count on me to, to comment and try and keep up with their, their status and, and I need that too. And so I feel bad for not uh, responding and, and being in, as engaged as I had hoped to have been during P3. So, but that's uh, water under the bridge or whatever they say. So I hope to be better this time, this round coming up. Hope to be uh, more engaged and, and get back into the swing of, of commenting and, and being a supportive person and paying back what, I, what I've received. So a little frustrated. I had... Uh, I would say an up and down P3 for round two. Uh, let's see, it's been probably seven and a half weeks, almost eight weeks of, of P3. I did really well the first three weeks, uh, and then I kind of did some traveling and, and found myself having uh, some issues. My wife went out of town, and I ended up gaining uh, 15 pounds on my supposed to be P4 week, which uh, didn't end up doing so well. So I gained a bunch of weight. I gained 15 pounds or so, and... Let's see, my just so you know, uh, my LDW at the time was uh, 268. So I was in the in the low 280s, and I bounced back. I had a great week after the, the cheat week and bounced right back to 270. So, and then I kind of hung out there for the last couple of weeks, uh, right around between 270 and 272. So I was a couple pounds over LDW. Now... I had some issues with my uh, all-day chemist order. Um, I've only ordered from them the first time because I ordered three or four vials, so it got me through the first couple rounds. Uh, I ordered three and a half weeks ago, which I thought was plenty of time because my first order came in like seven days. Had some issues with uh, with getting a tracking number, and I was finally able to get a tracking number last week. And even though I got a tracking number, it never actually showed up when I had put it into the, the USPS.com. So I, I talked to their online chat several times last week, and they're like, oh, well, it, it'll be there. That the tracking number we gave you, it'll show up in, their data, in the USPS database in a couple of days. So I expected, you know, and that was last Monday or Tuesday. So I checked Friday, nothing. I checked Monday, and I thought, you know, this has been more than a couple of days. Still not there. Get a hold of them. They're like, well, if it's not there by Wednesday, give us a call or email us. And not here on Wednesday. And I was supposed to start on Thanksgiving. So they can't find it. They think it's lost in customs or not in their system. So they're shipping me more stuff. Uh, that's frustrating. I posted this on Facebook this morning that you know, I, I really wanted to start on Thanksgiving. I have my kit and everything ready. I just don't have the HCG. Um, thanks for the comments, by the way. Laura offered to, sh to ship me some next to air. Unfortunately, by the time I checked the comments back, I'd already gone to uh, um, Good Valley Earth and bought HCG uh, homeopathic. And... I don't really want to get into the whole HHCG versus ACG because I, I'd actually prefer injections. Uh, the dilemma I'm having is it, you know, even if even if I got Laura to send me some next week, I'd I probably wouldn't get it till Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, but not knowing that, I, I thought, you know, if I have to wait for all day chemists to, to react and actually take care of me, then who knows when it's going to be here. And then I'm starting around mid Christmas and. And knowing myself and knowing how how perfect everything was supposed to be, starting on Thanksgiving and then taking a break during Christmas, I knew that if I if I had to wait another week or two for HCG, that I would just be like, uh, screw it, I'll just start at the beginning of the year. And the way I've been eating the past few days, uh, I would be <laughs> in a bad scenario. So um, I kind of got a little bit down and depressed when, when I knew my ACG wasn't coming and started um, Thanksgiving on Wednesday instead of Thursday, uh, eating-wise. Just kind of just went to town on whatever I wanted. Didn't really, I didn't have any caution. Just kind of 
hop back into my old self and was down and out because I was supposed to start on Thanksgiving. And it's like I couldn't, I couldn't rein my emotions of being pissed off out and it just ended up affecting me in a bad way. So I, I really feel if I don't start this weekend, then bad things will happen and I won't have the willpower to fight off the Christmas battle of chocolates and yummy foods. So I, I'm going to start the homeopathic and I'll probably just do a three week round. This will put me, I'll probably go for three weeks and and then stop uh, three days before Christmas Eve and then take a, a, a week long break from Christmas Eve to New Year's Day. And then I'm going to try to do the best I can on just P3 foods. Um, I told myself that I could maybe load on New Year's Eve just one day. Um, but I think if I, if I, because on Christmas, you know, my mom makes turkey and ham and stuff like that. So I could eat a lot of good P3 foods that week. And then as long as I tell myself I can have a low day on New Year's Eve where, you know, I'm hang out, hanging out with friends and stuff like that, I think I'll be okay. And then do a, a three-week um, round to, to mid to late January. And I'll probably go back to the regular dose of uh, HCG if, if it ends up showing up and mixing it. And I ordered three vials, so it might work out to the point to where I can do a full 43-day round in March and, and be good. So that's where I'm at. Uh, not all is lost. I've probably gained seven or eight pounds this week, so I've, I've done a super load. Um, I, I didn't do so hot the past three days. Um, so, yeah, I've gained some weight back, but I know, I know I'll lose it right back, too, if I stay, stay strict and stay strong this time. So P3 is kind of interesting, guys. Um, I had a really rough round two. Just even P2, I was having a hard time. Uh, I didn't lose. I lost about, um, I would say, two-thirds of what I lost the first round. So it's a little discouraging when you're, uh, when you're, you know, you've lost a ton of weight and then you do another round. It's just not as good as numbers. Um, I had some issues there where I was, you know, I was eating some mac nuts and, and kind of, experimenting per se because I had gotten more familiar with the diet and I wasn't as scared to eat a mac nut. Um, so I really want to focus this round on just just doing things right. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. Drinking water which is huge. I've been horrible on P3 drinking water. Diet Mountain Dew is my nemesis. I just can't let the stuff go so I'm going to do the best I can now, I know you guys are all going to say get rid of the dew and stop drinking sodas. My goal is to finish one of these stupid things every day. I told myself, if I drink one of these every day, you can have as much dew as you want. So I'll probably pound one of these before noon every day. And then I can drink dew the rest of the night if I want. Uh, I know it's bad for me and people are going to say you're going to kill yourself and, you know, caffeine and all that's going to do you in but I figured if I drink my water it you know uh, I can drink the dues if I want but maybe I won't I know I should stop it but there's gonna be a lot of uh, late nights with work and on call so I gotta have something if I get rid of the do then then that would be really hard um, for my schedule but we'll see I figure if I can eat right and drink right and stick to the protocol the way I should, I, I should do well. So I don't want to take a, a too long of a vlog. I don't, it's weird how I, you know, I don't think, I, I watch some vlogs that are like three or four minutes. I'm like, how do I talk for like 10 or 15? Is it, I mean, they cover everything in three or four minutes. So I just want to give you guys an update. So I started my homeopathic tonight. I'll do a three week homeopathic round and I, I know it's not optimal and I know it's not injections, but I have to get started. If I don't get started this weekend and start VLCD one, number one on Monday, then I'm going to be in the spiral of, I don't know. I would, I would, I'm going to have a really hard time when my mind's set to start something and I can't, like I couldn't on Thanksgiving. I just, I kind of just said, screw it. And I need, 
I need to start, otherwise I'm going to drive myself crazy just being on P3 trying to fight this weight and stabilize, even though I've been trying to stabilize for seven weeks. So I'm back. Uh, VLCD day uh, on Monday, number one. So I'll finish out this weekend with crap and get back to, to square one. Hopefully I drop these, uh, this extra 10 pounds uh, load weight, uh, super load weight, and get back in the groove. So thank you for your comments. I really apologize for not being there for a lot of people the past six weeks. I've just been kind of checked out. My head's in the game. I know that I debated starting because you, your head really has to be in this game. Um, my sister is looking to maybe start, and I said, you know, ACG is not easy. Um, there are days where you wake up and you just say, no way, I can't do this. I need to eat something. And there's days that are saying, you say, this is amazing. You know, I lost a pound or I lost two pounds. You just, you have to have the mindset that this is going to work and you're going to do it. So my head's there. Um, I hope I can execute like I need to. And I do really well in P2. <laughs> P3, not so, not so bueno. Uh, so I, I'm excited to get back and get get to a weight that I haven't been in 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 years. So hopefully I don't get hit the 280s, uh, but I, I'll probably be in the high 270s. So I have to lose that weight back and maybe even get in the 240s after this round, mid you know mid to late January. So we'll see. Thanks guys. Uh, comment. I promise to comment back this time and appreciate you guys. I hope you have some great holidays and we'll talk to you next week.